All right, guys, this video is going to be about I need to think about it. Now, look, I'm going to go over actually a two part series during the same video, real quick. The first part is going to be when you're outside on the lot, and everybody should know this close by now if you follow me. But it's going to be when someone says, Hey, you know what, Andy, we need to think about it. I'm going to show you how to handle it and advance the sell forward and take them inside and close the sale. Secondly, I'm going to show you when you're inside, whenever you're working deals, the numbers are laid out on the table, and then the customer says, Andy, we need to think about it. I'm going to show you how to stop the deal, surface the real objection, and close I need to think about it. So this great video is going to show you how to handle I need to think about it on the lot, and I need to think about it inside the office. Okay, guys, this is going to be the video on I need to think about it. Now, remember, this could be a two-part series during this video, okay? It's going to be really simple. I'm going to show you how to overcome I need to think about it on the lot and advance the sell so you can take the customers inside and actually close them. And then also, I'm going to show you how to overcome I need to think about it inside during negotiating when all the numbers are on the table and the customer says, hey, you know what? I think we need to think about it. I'm going to show you how to handle that. Before I get into this video, do me a favor. Do you guys love negotiating? So I did a mastermind two weeks ago, and I went over seven ways to improve your negotiating skill. It was so powerful. Everybody loved it. What I did, if you look down in the description box right now on the video, you can see where you can download seven ways to improve your negotiating skill. Guys, click on that. Download the free PDF right now, and I want you guys to see it and you will be blown away and it will help you become way better in negotiating. So it costs you nothing, it's free. Just click on the link below. You'll see it right there in the description box, down in the YouTube link. I figured it was so powerful. Everybody was like, Andy, dude, this has helped me so much. I, I thought, man, I need to put this on a freaking YouTube video so you guys can download it for free. So check down in the description box. You can click on it, download it, print it off, and I want you to see what we went over um, that changed everybody. So let's get back to I need to think about it real fast, okay? And I wrote the word track down. By the way, if you've been training with me for a long time, you already know this one. This one's for fun. But because there's over a million salespeople in the U.S. and especially all around the globe, it just continues to grow. I train over 60,000 right now salespeople. So my goal is I want to make sure you have it ver verbatim wrote down. I'm going to step out. You're welcome to pause the screen so you can see it. I want you to take that word track and write it down, and that way you have it memorized. So if you're outside on the lot, and obviously you drove the car, the customer loves you, they're, they're happy, you know what I'm saying, you're checking it out, and you're just like, you know, hey, so you know, if I could give you, you know, uh, um, if, if I could make the deal right, you know, if I could give the numbers 110% to your satisfaction, would you be happy to take it home? I could say, hey, how do you want your new car titled? You know, and then I'm waiting for them to tell me, but, and I'm trying my trial closes, but they're like, you know what, Andy, I think we need to think about it. Well, what I like to do is this. I say, well, guys, that makes sense. And I always agree and I neutralize. And I say, of course you need to think about it. I mean, honestly, guys, I haven't even given you enough information not to think about it. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to give you a five-minute proposal of all the figures. That way, when you truly go home and you're sitting at the kitchen table, you have all the numbers to think about. Would that be fair? Would you mind if I got that for you before you left? What would they say? Yeah, that'd be fair. You say, guys, thank you so much. Follow me inside. Now, I want you to understand something. You're thinking, how, how does that close that, Andy? Listen, do you want to go to a write-up, yes or no? Now, listen, 15 years ago, old school managers would say, don't bring me a car deal unless you have a commitment from your customer that's ready to buy. I'm going to tell you right now. Ask your manager this. Would he rather take a cold TO on a lot with the customer sitting outside by the trade-in, sitting by the car that says, hey, I need to think about it. Guess what? You're like, well, what do you need to think about? And then they're like, oh, you're challenging me. Well, I don't need to tell you. I don't need to answer to you. It's 2020. People are sensitive. Don't go that road. Nice and slow. Low pressure. Fly under the radar. Do a good job. These people are buyers. They want to buy. This is a stall tactic, okay? Understand what it is. And if you understand what it is, and you can be great at closing, and you're a great closer, you say, of course you need to think about it, guys. I mean, look, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. You know what I like to do? What if we did something like this? I could give you a five-minute proposal of all the figures. That way, when you go home tonight, and you guys are sitting at the kitchen table, you, your wife, and your family, you got all the numbers to think about. Would that be fair? Would you mind if I got that for you before you left? Now, look, notice, I'm saying words that are taking the pressure off before you left, when you're at home, before you leave. I'm saying these words as comfort to make them chill. And guess what? 
They say, sure. Now, if they're interested in the numbers, are they interested in buying? Yes. That is the psychology of selling that people need to understand. If you're waiting for people to come in and say, I'm here to buy, I'm going to buy, I have no objections, you're not going to sell anybody. You won't be breaking any records, my friend. Now, I'm going to tell you something. As I made 700 grand a year selling cars, I did it one way. I constantly advanced the sell forward. Hey guys, I see you. Listen, I appreciate you. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to tell you real quick, please do me a favor. Comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know what you think about the video. I reply to every single one of my comments. I'm here to help you. And by the way, please like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Let's get back to the video. Push it to the next level. How many deals can you close that aren't wrote up? Zero. How many deals get closed that write up? Usually 60 to 70%. So what do my odds go to when I write them up? They go really high. And can your managers take a good TO if a customer's sitting down with the wrote up sheet and they're sitting inside the office? Yeah, that's what I call a nice, warm TO for your manager. But guess what happens? Now you go out and you say, hey, you know, obviously, so I can get you all those numbers, um, you're gonna be trading your car, is that right? I just wanna have my manager check it out real quick. And guess what happens? They allow you to go out and do a little appraisal on their car. Now, when you get in their car, you get a chance to see really how these people live. Have they taken care of their car? Do they have check engine lights? When you started the car, did the, light, did the dash light up like a Christmas tree? If so, that gives you am, am, ammunition to say, guys, you know what? I'm glad that you're here, but I'm just going to tell you, man, there's lots of check engine lights on. There was lots of things going on. I mean, you know what? This might be a really good time right now with my manager really helping and him needing a deal and you guys being inside. Maybe we can work something out. Now, all of a sudden, you're able to start talking them into actually buying. But the cool thing about it is they're inside your office, they're rode up already, and they're this close to buying. Watch this next one. Hey, guys, now payments are going to be important to you, right? They say, yeah. I say, cool, man. Go ahead and give me two seconds of information right here while your manager's driving your trade. That way I can give you price, trade, and I can give you your exact payment to the penny. Would that be okay? That way I can get that for you? And guess what? Now you got their credit information. Oh, my gosh. How close are these people to buying? Do you see how salesman number one, the guy said, I need to think about it. And he said, well, what do you need to think about? And the guy says, I don't know, man. I just kind of need to go and think about it. He's like, okay, well, is there anything I can do? And he's asking that outside on the pavement. And then me, I'm inside right now because I use this word track. I've gotten a chance to drive his trade, maybe even pull his credit, understand how is, and now he's more invested in the deal with me, understand and find an angle in, right? So I can find a way to get something done and do it right now. Plus your management staff can help when they're inside. But if you're a great closer, you're gonna find these angles on your own and you'll be able to talk them in. And by the way, they thought, hey, last time we went into the dealership after we drove a car, we ended up buying it. So maybe this time we'll say we need to think about it and then we can leave and then we can text the salesman over the phone, try to get a better deal and then we can come back in and have the deal already negotiated and buy. But you know what? I saw that coming from a mile away. So you know what I did? I said, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. Let me show you a quick five minute proposal. Okay, that way when you're home, you have all the numbers to think about. And I'm gonna tell you, you may not have a commitment to buy yet, but they are ready to buy and they came to buy. And if you treat them like a buyer, when they're inside, they'll end up buying. You'll find a way in. So that is overcoming the objections on I need to think about it outside on the lot. Now I'm going to go over inside. Okay. Now remember this. If you haven't clicked the download below yet on seven ways to improve your negotiation skill, guys, go down to the description. Download it real quick. That way you guys can get that. I want you guys to also get back with me and let me know how much has helped you. I couldn't believe the, the mentorship meeting we had. Everybody's like, man. That was freaking awesome. So if you're in my mastermind mentorship class every Monday, you already know what this is. If you don't, like I said, go download it for free and check it out. Um, let's get back to outside, or this is outside. Let's go back to inside. Inside is going to be, I put out a video and it says, I need to get back with you, okay? Now I need to get back with you and I need to think about it during negotiating. Aren't they the same objection? They are. So when someone says, and you're inside negotiating, got all the numbers on the table, and they say, you know what, Andy, I think we need to think about it. 
You say, I understand completely. Guys, I've been doing this for a long time. And when someone says that they need to think about it, what I've learned is that I never see them again. So when you guys say that you need to think about it, either one or two things are wrong. Either number one, you're just being polite and you don't want to reject me because you're no longer interested in the deal. Or number two, you are interested, but something's wrong with the numbers. Are you still interested? They say yes. They always say yes. Because obviously they wouldn't be inside writing up the deal if they weren't interested. So it's a planned question. Well, yeah, we are interested. We just need to think about it. I say, I understand, guys. Look, let's bottom line this deal, okay? I'd like to be direct with you for a second. Is it the price, is it the trade, or is it the payments? Which part is it that's really bothering you? See, you can't overcome, I need to think about it. That's not a real objection. But you can overcome if they say, well, it's really those payments. And you say, okay, I understand. Look, let me show you how affordable your new vehicle is. So on our payments here, and now I change the subject, I get off, I need to think about it. They've exposed to me the real true objection, which is it's a payment, and now I can go into my payment close and I can close them. Guys, everybody has different stuff going on in their head during negotiations. It's your job to listen real carefully, to have word tracks tattooed on your heart on how to handle an objection when it comes in, and really understand what objections mean. And I need to think about it, it doesn't mean anything. It's either a stall tactic or it's a cover up and a smoke screen for another objection. But the fact that now you've watched this full video, you know how to handle it, guys, Rock and roll. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook. Join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. One of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training. Keep watching the videos and crush it.